All right, another update here on the PE250. Uh, spent some time today on the bike. So I got the, uh, the card back on. So I got that cleaned up the other day, reassembled. And then um, I put the new intake boot on that I bought. I got that from Moto Duro. I got a new gasket there, cleaned off the bolts and some evapo rust. Uh, scraped all the crap off the cylinder there, the mating surface. Got a new uh, rubber boot from Moto Duro. Put that on the air box. Got the carb on there. I put some new lines, new vent lines there. I got to find a new hose for the overflow. I just got something rounded right there for now. But I'll put some new ones, a uh, new line back there like it's supposed to be routed once I find some. Uh, I had some fuel line laying around, so I put that back up there. Hooked the throttle cable back up. <clears throat> um, so I haven't put any fuel in here yet. I did blow out the petcock and clean that the other day. So we'll see if it leaks or not once I get fuel in there. Tighten all this stuff up. Uh, I got a new air filter in here. I don't know if anyone's got one of these bikes, but they're a real pain in the ass to in. So uh, there it is. It's a uni. It's a dual stage filter. It's got a pre-filter on it. I soaked that sucker in PJ1 uh, oil filter oil, sprayed it on there. And then you jam it on there. It's got a little cage on the inside. And then that piece and a little, like, kind of a cotter key type pin there. So put that on there. So that's all set. I got a new gas tank strap, rear strap to hold the gas tank on. Mine was busted. So that's on there. Um, so yeah, so I got the car hooked up and the frog cable. So then uh, the, both these levers and the cables were shot. So I put a new, uh, I left the throttle cable alone. That still works fine. Um, so I put that back on. I got new levers. These are from Moto Duro also. New lever here, new lever here. I uh, pulled these off the stock cables that were on it. They had little covers on there, so I just reused them. Um, but yeah, the levers, these kind of just bolt on, which is cool. The stock ones, I had to take all this crap off and slide them off. It was kind of a pain, but whatever. So yeah, I got new levers on there. Then I put a new, uh, where am I facing here? This is the new front brake cable. Might need brakes, it feels kind of funky. Uh, throttle cable, and I got the new clutch cable. I wasn't sure if the clutch was froze up, but that's nice, it feels good. It seems like it works pretty good down here too. No binding or anything, so that's cool. So I'll have to check and see if it's even got any oil in there. I haven't checked that yet, but I was able to reuse the grip. This was really stuck on, I blew some compressed air in here, and then I just kind of worked it off came off. It's not perfect, but whatever. It's still original, so I like to keep it. This kill switch was still working, so I put it back on. This bolt snapped off. It was all rusted. And so I found another uh, piece that would fit through here, another bolt in my little pile. Hacksawed it down a little bit and put a nut on there for now. Reuse this. Um, it's missing the on-off switch. It's supposed to be here. That's what these wires are for. I'm still looking for one of those, but it's not a real high priority right now. So anyway, I got the cables on. Um, so the front brake works. The clutch seems to work fine. Um, throttle works good. Carbs all clean. I got a brand new air filter, it's oiled up. New rubber there, so there'll be no air leaks there. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I do have a new rear brake cable too. I didn't get a chance to put that on yet, but this guy is kinda, kinda messed up. It doesn't really. You can see it doesn't do anything. <laughs> I don't know, so something's messed up. It's got a kink and it's messed up over here. So I got a brand new old stock one. I'm gonna put that on. I don't know what I can do with this. Maybe I can save this if I weld it or something. Take this off, try to weld it. But uh, yeah, that's kind of it. So I'll have to do that rear brake cable some other time. But the front brake works. And the carbs on, air filter. So it's it's really almost ready to be started, really. I mean, I got brakes in case it kind of takes off or something. I want to shift up in the fifth and kill it <clears throat> if the kill switch doesn't work. I tested this before, and the kill switch did work. So I'll test it again before I fire it up. But uh, yeah, I think the next step will be 
rear brake cable, and then I'll mix up some fuel and check for leaks with the fuel tank from the petcock and down to the carb. And then uh, I'll put my new spark plug in there and uh, I'll try to fire it, see if it'll start. I think it might start up. Because it's got 160 PSI compression, it had spark, and now this carb is all nice and clean. Cleaned out the muffler, got a new air filter. So it'd be cool if it started up and ran. But uh, anyway, that's where it's at. I gotta work on the side panels a little bit more. I'm gonna sand those down and get those to come out a little more yellow, like the front and the rear fender. Um, and then I have that uh, skid plate that I painted that's in the basement that goes on the bottom over there. But again, that's not like a high priority, right? So anyway, that's where I'm at. So next up will be rear brake cable and fuel, check for leaks and see if it'll, it'll start. Maybe we can fire it up. That'd be cool. All right, see ya.